Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Flagar here with a fictional story called Peanut Butter and Jelly, I mean, Brains. Reginald was not like the other zombies. The other zombies wanted brains for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but not Reginald. All Reginald wanted was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Brains, moaned the zombie horde, shuffling through the streets of Quirkville. Wherever the zombies went, people ran, screaming in fear. Nobody wanted their brains eaten. Not for breakfast, not for lunch, not even for dinner. Reginald didn't shuffle with them. His stomach rumbled and growled, and all he could do was dream about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Sweet jelly, moaned Reginald. Sticky peanut butter. No brains? The other zombies asked. No brains said Reginald. Peanut butter and jelly. The other zombies shook their heads. If you tried peanut butter and jelly, said Reginald, you'd never want brains again. But the zombies just shambled off. Reginald went to the corner cafe and tried to order a sandwich. But the man behind the counter shook his head and pointed to a sign. No zombies allowed. He tried the school cafeteria, but the lunch lady slapped a hunk of meatloaf on his tray instead. It looked an awful lot like brains. Ugh. Reginald even tried Oscar's grocery, but when Oscar rang up the loaf of bread, the peanut butter, and the jelly, Reginald couldn't pay. Sorry, said Oscar, paying customers only. Reginald left the store and his groceries behind. Across the street stood a little Abigail Zink, the smartest girl in Quirkville. She carried a lunch bag in her hand. Reginald recognized the familiar jelly stain that was seeping through the paper bag. Peanut butter and jelly, he moaned. The zombie horde shuffled and shambled around the corner. Brains, they moaned, licking their lips at the sight of little Abigail Zink. The townspeople froze in their tracks, including the mayor and his prancing poodle. Suddenly, little Abigail Zink dropped the bag holding her peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Reginald lurched forward and seized it. He raised the jelly-stained bag to his lips. He could practically taste the delicious, stinky peanut butter and sweet strawberry jelly. Little Abigail Zink let out a shriek. The mayor's poodle yipped and yapped, and the townspeople all screamed, ah! If the other zombies could just smell the peanut butter, Reginald thought, if they could just taste the sweet jelly. Brains, cried Reginald, holding up the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Brains! moaned the zombies, reaching for the sandwich. Reginald threw it into the crowd of drooling zombies. When the zombies tore into the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, their eyes lit up. Not brains, they said, licking their lips. Yummy, better than brains. 
The zombies rubbed their bellies and the townspeople smiled. Why, they're just hungry, declared the mayor. And peanut butter and jelly does the trick. Peanut butter and jelly did do the trick. The zombies no longer wanted brains and the townspeople were no longer afraid of the zombies. Soon, the zombies were a regular part of Quirkville. They collected the garbage, walked the dogs, and swept the streets. They were happy to help and even happier to be paid in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But Reginald still wasn't like the other zombies because while they were enjoying their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Reginald had moved on to pizza. Boys and girls, I hope you really enjoyed this fun, entertaining book about zombies who ended up loving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So these zombies sure were hungry. How do you behave when you are very hungry? Talk with your family, have everyone share how they feel when they really, really get hungry and they just need something to eat. All right, boys and girls, I will see you next time. Bye.